Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Kai's Break as the Indo-Chinese Union. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we are doing, I would say, pretty well. We can kill this guy, I'm pretty sure, pretty easily. Which means you guys get assigned to that front instead. Uh, Liberia issue in the Reich's Pact. You go here, get us around on these troops, please and thank you. But probably not all of you guys need to go down to the south. You guys stay here. Something like this. You should be killed pretty easily. Like, Indo or Germany's Asia is going to have basically no strength whatsoever. I know we don't have some weapons. Let's do some political instruction as well. Is that a plant bank? Political power gains. Stability goes to weekly stability 0.3%. We get these ones done first. Okay, so you are good. I mean, the, the factory tech, like, it doesn't matter yet because we don't have factories to use. The anti infiltration campaign. The German scum want to sabotage the glorious revolution. Spies and traitors are everywhere. Well, the VN QDD wants to infiltrate the enemy and launch an intelligence counteroffensive. The Todd Viet party argues that expanding our secret police is the only way to eliminate internal enemies. Well, the anarchists and syndicalists uh, urge us to continue the Red Terror by authorizing our local militias to arrest and execute suspicious people instead of a revolutionary tribunal. I mean, you don't really do much. Resistance growth goes down. Political power... 0.4 per day is a lot. Literally goes down... Political power gain goes up. I mean, our stability is already quite low. I mean, we want it. We're, we're going to do this one anyways. Apparently, we're going to set. We're going to get the nine days. We're getting the Tet offensive, which I think is the thing that spawns troops in the north. So that should be good. Like, that should basically, I think, win us the, the war here. So it's going to spawn troops up here. We can take that port, which is going to deny the Germans a lot of supplies. All of you guys can now move way up to the north. You don't need to be down here. This one guy, he's got it. Yeah, extensive conscription, 21 days. Let's get that researched. Our war support's quite high. It works out pretty well. And the Ted Offensive is going to be happening uh, tomorrow. I mean, a Ted Offensive is a little bit underwhelming, I'll admit. But we have the port. We're going to take every major city they have. I mean, the militias are kind of weak. More shelling in Saigon. When are you going to be there? You're going to be there in 23 hours. And you are going to be... Just, there's like a different army. Again, someone who's like pretty good at defense. And your job is to basically defend that line. Actually, when you're here... Yeah, you're also in this line. Draw it up like that. Assist this guy. Put you in the purple army for now. You know, I don't know if it really makes a difference. Okay, so the Germans have once again landed down here. But I really don't think they have much of an army anymore. Because again, that... We have a military factory. I never thought that they would come. We don't have any steel. We do have a military factory. Which is almost as good. We can unify our front lines here. And I'm thinking, like, we could send... I mean, we could negotiate with Germany, maybe. I mean, you know what? Let's send a negotiation to Germany. There we go. That worked out pretty well. So we have one hour war. We'll get some education reform while we're at it. 
Uh, you guys could be linked into this guy. You are a 3-3. Three, three. You're 3-1? Like, I don't know why... Unless you have some, like, decent stats? Not really. I, actually, I don't know why... You are prioritized here. Okay, we'll, actually, we'll just, like, delete one of... Cannot be disbanded, you cannot be changed templates. Okay, well... That's fine for now. I have support, set up land bank. We still have, like, a thousand days. The Panzer Panic has subsided. Fantastic. I mean, yeah, I mean, so the war's been won. Yeah, Sennikov has taken control of Russia, which I kind of expected was going to happen. And victory in Indochina. Germany accepts the peace initiative and retreats from Indochina. We have fulfilled our mission of forcing German imperialists to withdraw. Indochina is now liberated from the German colonial regime. 5 sensibility, 25 political power. That is that going to get these guys to despawn, though? I mean, it doesn't look like it. But I can't make you really any better. I'm actually allowed to delete any of these units. I could delete you. What are you? You're actually garbage right now. You're at heart attacks one. I'm just gonna delete you. Just to get you down to 24. Who's a pseudo bobbin? You're an 18 combat with. Like, we can't train any of these guys. You're kind of garbage. And you are... I mean, you're just better. The Chinese Revolt has exceeded standoff in America. So we win our war just in time for America to have theirs. We got the National Assembly. going to be happening. Like, I think we just won our war pretty fast. Literacy campaign is going to be more war support. Uh, training time goes down. Population goes up. And you're an extra research slot. You know what? We actually do need that. But 70 days. You're both 70 days, actually. You know, let's do war economy. Let's at least get down to the National Assembly. We have four factories, which is garbage. Don't build another... Just, like, build one military factory for right now. Maybe that's we get land reform. Get the traitorous lands. Yeah, we'll just encourage the peasants to struggle as well. Just get whatever we can here. Get the land reform to finish ASAP. Maybe that'll give us resistance from landlords. Despite the land uh, holding limit uh, regulation, landlords manage to keep lands via various formal and informal means. I don't want... You know what? Landlordum is the problem. We need to reform as fast as possible. Because I'm sure this matters. I don't know what it does. But I'm sure it's going to make a difference to the economy. Right now, four factories is horrible. European settlers. What about you? Like, how many factories do you have, for example? I mean, you don't have that many, honestly. You have, like, nine. Nine to eleven. European settlers, about 20,000 European settlers living in Saigon. It's a troublesome issue for us. They serve in colonial administration and monopolize almost mo all modern economy in Indochina. While well, some revolutionary societies uh, decided to join our cause, most are diehard reactionaries. What should we do to deal with them? So, take over society, nationalize their assets, put them in jail. Economic chaos, which factory output is minus 15%. The, the economic chaos doesn't matter too much. So I guess we're just going to force them to work for us. There we go. So right now, the Totalists have 36%. So I think they are the most popular party at the moment. And I'm not too sure what's going to determine uh, what to get chosen at the National Assembly. And there's also unification. Once this is done. I'm trying to think. International, the International Revolutionary Outpost. 
A lot of people are going to hate our government, but that's okay. Or we do Rising Dragon. 5% war support loss, 5% war support increase. But why? I mean, it's a proof of government, but I don't know if that does anything for us, honestly. So you might just do Rising Dragon. Dragon is rising. Cooperate with Siam, cooperate with Burma. Yeah, wait, I'm really not too, uh... Not too sure why you'd ever choose an international revolutionary outpost. Because it, it does seem like it only hurts you. The Second International Congress. Oh, uh, yes, we'll get uh, some stability. Thank you very much. Challenge Siamese homogeny. And we can invade them. Which wouldn't hurt, I think. We get some ministers. But I don't think you're actually allowed to change ministers anymore. Um, they've changed Kaiserreich. So you actually, you can't... This doesn't actually do anything. It stabilized the country, which would be nice. Oh, no, no, you can't join the international down here with uh, our international obligation. So the question is, like, will Bahari Commune actually form their faction? Because, like, when we were playing as Bahari Commune, I could not figure out how to actually do that. Like, I didn't know how to, um, actually make the faction. Which is kind of embarrassing. Are you, you're seven days, you're all 70 days, which is a little bit, I mean, I, I want to say it takes a, it's a while, but it's just like the normal speed. It's just that everything else has been a little bit faster. Should have been getting the research speed upgrade earlier, to say the least. But it is 1937, how is everybody else doing the CSA? I mean, Jack Reed did win the election, so they should get a little bit of a bonus. Because they do get, yeah, rifle president, division speed, reinforcement rate, recovery rate, so that's pretty good for them. Fury Mandarin in Saigon. Saigon, the heart and uh, brain of Indochina. Become a battlefield of the National Assembly election. All factions try to use their power on Saigon. Municipal committee to manipulate the me uh, mechanics of the election in favor of him. We can cynicalism. Hold an unbiased election. One of the four will happen. We can just give a flat 10% to... Well, you know, let's hold an unbiased election. But I don't want to be giving any um, bonuses to the Social Democrats. I don't think that's who we want to go with here. Interna uh, inauguration of the Second International Community. Bravo, Comrade Blair. Hopefully we did pretty okay in the start arcade. I guess I could have read what the description said, but that's okay. So, Mike Lee's clear war to Tibet. Argentina's clear war. Three wars all in the same day. It's a very eventful day in world history. So, it's just you two fighting, huh? Just Romania and Bulgaria? I think last time this happened, it was a roaring success for the Bulgarians. Um, so Brazil is going national populist. Argentina's going to be fighting out here. Chile, we'll see if they can win. We shall see. Um, I mean, we want to train you guys. We're going to make you 20 withs. We'll train up a handful of you. Let's say two. The problem, is, again, is that we don't have the rifles, and we really don't make rifles. Nor do we have steel. Like, is there anything in our country? We have rubber and uh, tungsten. And a little bit of chromium. So, you know, if we want to build uh, a bunch of heavy tanks, then we're in a pretty good position. What does Siam have? They have a little bit of steel. Negotiate licenses. Like, I would like to just be given rifles. Syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland. But is that actually the revolutionaries? Or is it another... Or is it just like a default pop-up? I don't know. Maybe it's just a default pop-up. Syndicalist is spread to Burma. I mean, that's pretty good for us. Which might make it so you guys can actually form the faction. 
Yeah, you're now a puppet state of the party commune. You got better rifles. And we might as well upgrade these now. Like, it doesn't make a huge difference because we already had, like, no production at all for them. What are you? So you're preparing the northern border. So you're preparing to invade already? Which, I can't tell if that's too early or not. Okay, so Romania is actually not in the Belgrade pack because they're already at war with Bulgaria. Like, Serbia, at this point, this is when I would have invaded Bulgaria while they're already at war with Romania. Unless Romania somehow wins the war. Which I will be impressed by if they can actually accomplish it. Um, yeah, because again, I know we don't have steel. We need manpower garrisoned in Laos. Just looking at oversight right now. Uh. I could do. I mean, you're not growing very fast. Laos doesn't like us very much. Like, do we don't actually have a course here? It's an occupied state. Is there anything I can do to make it so it's no longer, uh... Has completed focus unification. We actually have to do unification first. So actually, what's going to happen then? Like, is this base just on party popularity now? Because we didn't actually try to, um... To tilt the scales. Who's going to win? We do need unification, which is going to delete... Oh, the, okay, so you're going to remove the, uh, the militia troops. Okay, that's fine. But I want, I kind of want to get rid of them anyways, because they're kind of garbage. It's going to get rid of you, which is... Wow. How many of these guys do I have? Why do I have any of them? <laughs> they're horrible. And it's going to get rid of you. It's going to get rid of troops that are basically garbage... In every in every respect. Okay, so National Assembly. Despite some controversy about whether counter revolutionary uh, suspects should be given election rights, the provisional government decided that all people eighteen years and older will be eligible to vote in the General National Assembly. So So we can go for I'm guessing you are the we either go for the totalist or we go for the radical socialist. And I'm just going to do one double check. Stability, uh, stability, political power, research slot, recovery rate. And then production efficiency growth plus 10%. Research speed plus 5%. Mobilization speed and command power. Or we go for freedom of thought, which is research speed. Well, you're both research speed. So basically, do I want realism, which consumer goods goes down? We probably want the production growth there. And mobilization speed. Or, again, we go for the totalist, and we go for the military ethos. The justified wartime doesn't matter too much. War support's okay. I'm mostly looking at the recruitable population factor there. And then we could either go... Well, we'd have to go for... 125% support for Indo-Chinese Revolutionary League. We couldn't actually do La Lut. I mean, it gives you a lot of war support as well. And I don't know if there's anything I can do to actually boost Cynical's popularity anymore. Because they're at what? 11%? Nobody really likes them too much. So... Basically, it's like, do I want the production efficiency growth? Or do I want, like, a military factory? And... Recruit population? Because the police state... it's This one's kind of, like, a worthless boost. Stability plus 10% is nice. Your fire sensibility boost, as well as... I mean, the hunter political power is also not bad, because we do need it for the, um... The reforms we're doing. What are you? Your political power gain plus 
Which is a lot. As well as another 10% stability. Because we're not doing the urbanization effort. For sure. You also give us political power? Nah, we're fine. We'll, we'll go for the, the total list here. We'll get, we'll get our military up as strong as we possibly can. The Vanguardist Tan Viet Party, among the few remaining Vanguardist Socialist Parties around the world. Uh, one majority National Assembly. Okay, so. Does it, uh... I don't really know who's best. We got Unity Cabinet led by Tan Tu Tong. Rattle Cabinet led by Fan Hua. Our Comrade Dong is good at multitasking. Does it say who's led by what? I mean, it doesn't really say. So, you know, let's go for... Let's go for the Unity Candidate. Get a little bit of political power as well, so we can actually do some of this other stuff. We cannot seize means production until uh, we have four more political power. Yeah, we go for Unification. Be done in 34 days. We can expand the Peasants' Associations, which is a little bit of political power loss. No, we're going to see... What are you? You are... It's only five, which is not as great. And also, 10 political power is not that expensive. We can easily do that up afterwards. Um, and something about land bank is not the worst idea in the world either. It's like, for la loot. Yeah, you can't do la loot if you do police state, which I think we've already kind of... Yeah, nobody else... We, have enough, we don't have enough uh, balance between all the parties to actually do that anyways. But that is fine. Research slot, let's go for research speed, of course. Are you really, are you gonna give us cores on anything? The end of the war. Uh, the bloody war has come to an end, but its legacy will still haunt us. Uh, unfortunately, many of our compatriots also served the enemy. War witnessed children rebelling against their parents, wife prosecuting her husband, brothers killing each other. The Indo Chinese society is even more divided after reunited. We get a little bit of party for everybody, we get a field marshal. I need the political power. We'll do that. And it's fine. Like, we already have a field marshal. And I don't think we're going to need enough uh, political power to get a second one. I mean, the manpower loss kind of sucks. Also, I noticed that we're losing manpower right now. No, no. We're, we're still gaining. This, this number went up. It looks like it went down in my brain. But apparently, that's not how it actually played out. I just want to know how many troops I'm going to have after unification. And how are things around the world looking? MacArthur is going to lose. Nobody's surprised by that. The American Union state looks like they're in a kind of a bad position. And the Pacific states have captured a lot of ground. Looks like you guys are still doing fine. Firm hand. I mean, you guys have expanded a little bit. But Germany's really only gotten Sweden. The International has gotten Norway, but no Norway is... Basically cannon fodder. They're, they're garbage. And we have completed unification. So we got 12 divisions. So that's good. It's good to at least know what our actual uh, army size here is. But for right now, I think this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my thumbs If you enjoyed my thumbs up, if you're not enjoying, throw your thumbs down. If you want to subscribe and goodbye.